Hi everyone, my name's Jamie and I'm excited today to be working with Center for the Arts and Ben Franklin Crafts and Frames to bring you some really fun and easy stay at home kids crafts. So um, today we're going to be working on a really nice Mother's Day, uh, Grandma's Day, Aunt Day um, gift that is going to be this really fun wooden rustic heart. And we have some of our hand prints there. This is a perfect gift that you can do for that special someone. I know that Mother's Day is coming up soon. And why not get a kit over at Ben Franklin Crafts and Frames that you can do um, in the safety of your own home. These kits will be $20, uh, all supplies included. And all you need to do is call Ben Franklin at one of their mobile numbers on their website, benfranklin-crafts.com, and just let them know that you're looking to pick up one of their wooden heart kits. So today's Kids Craft Kit will include a wooden heart that we're gonna be painting on with acrylic paints. It'll include three acrylic paints of your choice. So we have a lot of different choices here at Ben Franklin, um, probably over like 100 colors. So anyone that you want to combine, you can do anything from purples to pinks to greens and blues, but you get to choose three of them of your own choice. Just let the person on the end of the line know that you're looking for what colors you're looking for and they'll grab them for you. So this kit will include the wooden heart, three acrylic paints, and one foam brush. This is what we're gonna be doing all of our painting with today. The kit will also include one piece of sandpaper. Now the sandpaper is gonna be used in two different applications in today's craft. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So our first job, now I've already painted a little bit on our heart today, um, just to make the video go a little bit faster and to kind of show you the different applications that we're gonna use. Um, so for today's heart, in the, my first one here, I chose a yellow, a white, and a blue. In today's one that I'm gonna do, I chose salmon pink, yellow, Laguna blue, and then we're gonna be doing some fun stain in order to get this really cool antiquing look to make it look really rustic. So your first job that you're gonna do when you get your heart, now remember, it's not gonna have these colors on it. These are the, already the ones I've painted. The heart will look completely natural. You're gonna take your sandpaper, and what I did is I ripped my sandpaper in two because you're gonna use it in two different applications. Now your first application that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sandpaper and you're gonna sand your heart. It's gonna be a little bit loud. You wanna make sure you get the edges and you can go up and down or sideways, it doesn't matter. Now the reason that we're doing this is order to make this a little bit smoother for painting. So you just want to sandpaper it until you see all these, I'm getting a lot of these flakes on the table, until you don't see that many flakes anymore. You want to be able to run your hands over it and it to be relatively smooth. So over here it's still pretty rough, but over here it's a lot smoother. So you just want to kind of get those like little pieces of wood that are kind of need to be removed. So again, maybe just a minute or so sanding it, getting the edges, going over the top, should be just fine. Again, we're just trying to smooth it out so that it's a little bit easier to paint. Okay, so once you're done sanding, you're gonna wipe it off. There you go, all ready. So we're gonna go in with my second color. So I already have my first color on here, pink, and I'm gonna go in with my Laguna Blue. Now this heart is slatted, meaning that it has one, two, three, four, five different pieces of wood that are put together. So you're gonna paint each one a different color. Now when you paint with the foam brush, it's gonna skip a little bit along the wood. That's okay. We don't need it to be solid because we're wanting it to look a little bit more rustic. So if you see there where the wood is kind of showing through, that's just fine. If you wanna make it more solid, that's fine too. That's entirely your choice. But I kinda like the more kind of rustic look where it's a little bit spotty there. Now you're gonna have sides on your heart as well. So make sure you get all those sides. That'll make our heart look nice and clean. You can see how I already got the pink ones there. We'll make it look nice and finished when we're all done. Perfect. So I'm gonna choose, since I have five different slats and only three colors, I think I'm gonna choose to do blue on top as well. 
So basically I'll have two of one color, two of another, but my third color will only be one and that'll be your choice. But I think I'm gonna do the top of my heart blue as well. And remember, get that top still. Now this is a really good gift for Mother's Day or that special lady in your life, especially for the kids to give. Ah, this looks really nice, really rustic. It'd be a great wall hanging or home decor decoration. You could also get some flowers if you have any flowers in the yard and you can glue them to this, that would be really cool. Or you could decorate this. This could be kind of the backdrop for a cool collage, meaning you could take pictures or you could even take like a Sharpie pen and write something on here. You could write a letter to mom or grandma or aunt. Okay, so I've got my blues all done. You see how they're a little bit spotty. Again, I like that look because at the end, I think it'll give it a little bit more rustic look. So now I'm gonna go in with my yellow. And I'm only gonna have one slat of yellow. Now, if you also wanna overlap the colors, you can too. So see how I'm kind of bringing it up into the pink? And I can bring it down into the blue and that'll make kind of a green. Oh, and then I put it right in the yellow. But you can kind of blend the colors if you don't want them to be kind of each separate color. If you blend them, it'll make kind of a nice rainbow effect like that too. Okay, make sure you get your sides. We're not gonna be painting the back, but if you want to, you can, but you don't have to. Okay, so there's my heart all done and painted ready to go now we have to let it dry probably let it dry for about five to ten minutes so i'm gonna let my heart dry and be back in just a second hey guys so i'm back waited about five to ten minutes so that my heart can be dried so the way that you tell is this you know make sure to put your hand on it make sure no paint is coming away on your hand you want these to be totally dry before our next step because our next step is gonna be getting that second piece of sandpaper that we got at the beginning of the craft. And we're gonna sand our hearts again. Now the whole point of sanding our hearts a second time is to kind of get some of that paint off. So basically what you're gonna be looking for, if some of you know like the beech wood look, so we're gonna make it look distressed. So you're gonna have to go a little bit hard on the sanding. This can be something you can do or the kids can also, they just may wanna get it from a higher vantage point to get a little bit more um, muscle onto their sandpaper. So I'm gonna show you here. I'm just gonna keep sanding. Again, it's gonna be a little bit loud. So see how I'm starting to eliminate some of the color there? And getting the edges is really nice too. That gives it a really nice distressed look. And you want to keep doing this until pretty much you're satisfied. There's no wrong way to do it. We're just exposing that natural wood underneath so it will be able to take our stain on our next step. I'm going to get it a little bit up here. And so see, you can see it's taking off some of the paint. So just make sure to flip it to the other side that's a little bit rougher. You see how it's taking off that? And this is what makes it look antique and aged, is this kind of sandpaper effect that we're doing. It's also smoothing it out a lot as well. You probably want to do this on a surface too that um, maybe lay a paper towel down um, or even like a piece of plastic down. I'm obviously doing this on my kitchen table and I'm going to have to clean it afterwards. This is also a great project for outside. See, we're getting that really nice distressed effect. Looks aged, weathered. Oh, 
Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. So our next step is going to be using our stain. So we have a gel stain. This one is an oak stain. Um, it's a really concentrated. Um, it's very thick. So on my palette here, you can also, you know, if you have a palette at home or just use a paper plate, I have just a small amount. And we're only going to need a little bit. Um, so there's two ways to apply, uh, apply it to our wooden heart. The first way is you can take your foam brush and use it and dip it just in a little bit. I even like to have my foam brush maybe wet a little bit um, so it doesn't even, even uh, or spread over across the heart. So you can do it like this and just do a little bit at a time. You don't want to do too much. You can go really heavy with this. And so see how there I'm just kind of aging it a little bit. Getting, make sure I'm hitting all of those wood pieces that I exposed with the sanding, those natural wood pieces that I exposed, especially on the edges there, right? Now, my favorite way to apply it, rather than using the foam brush, is to use an old rag. So here I have like kind of an old cleaning rag or dish rag. You do not want to use a paper towel or any type of paper product because it'll just completely um, catch on this wood and kind of dissolve and you'll get little paper flecks everywhere. So using a nice kind of old towel or rag is perfect. Now I got my towel damp, I put it under the faucet and then I wrang it out really good so it's really damp. And what I do is just kind of dip it into the stain instead. And I can kind of spread it around. Just want a little bit on there. Then take that edge and then I just wipe it on. So you just wipe it on like this. Dip a little bit more. So see there, it's a little heavy. So if you have this rag wet, it'll spread it a lot easier and more evenly over your heart. Make sure I get my edges. And again, how you stain your heart is a personal preference. So really it's just to get the effect of aging to make it look old and weathered and antique. So you can go as far or as little as you want. Completely up to you. Make sure you get those edges. So see, very nice. Looks aged, antiqued, weathered. And again, I'm a really um, big uh, person on kind of embellishing it how you want. So kind of add your own personal touch. If you have any glitter or pictures at home, um, things that you collect outside, anything you can go on this. It's kind of like a blank canvas um, for, every what, for every what you want to put on it. Okay, all right, so I think I'm good. I've got my heart distressed. I'm gonna show you the last part of our heart. Now on this one here, you can see that I did hand prints. So you can do all the kids' hand prints, you can do dads, then you can do all the kids, you can even do the fur babies. If you have a dog or cat at home, you could do their hand prints on top of each other. I thought that was a cute idea. There's also another way you can do it. So, okay, so I got my hands clean. I'm gonna take my foam brush and I think I'm gonna choose my Laguna Blue. Yeah, I wanna choose my Laguna Blue for this. And you're just gonna paint your hand or a kid's hand. This is the fun part of the project. And we get to get nice and dirty. Okay, and you want it to be a pretty thick coat in order for it to stick on the wood. Okay. And in this one, I'm going to position my hand to where my thumbs are going to kind of create a heart. We're going to see if I can fit both of my hands on this, but I'm going to try to make a heart in the center of this one. So I'm going to place my hand here, kind of as far to the edge as I can get. Oh, we're going to try this. And I'm going to press down. You can always, if the handprint doesn't come out perfect, don't worry. You can take your foam brush or a smaller brush and kind of fill in those areas. Um, that didn't really adhere to the wood. Okay. All right, so that's my first one. Take my second one. Let's see how good I do with this. Okay, I'm gonna paint my second hand. Okay. Make sure you get all over. Pretty thick coat of paint. Okay. My second attempt. Okay. I want my thumbs to touch right there 
and kind of my uh, pointer finger to touch down here so that I'm making that heart press down. And make sure you get all the fingers. Make sure you really press those fingers in that center palm. Those are kind of the areas that sometimes won't um, adhere to the wood as well. So make sure you really get the fingers and then that center of your palm pressed down. Okay. Oh, I think that turned out. There you go. The perfect antique heart Mother's Day gift. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me here today. Again, you can get these kits at Ben Franklin Crafts and Frames in Grass Valley. Uh, make sure to call them on one of their phone numbers listed on their website, benfranklin-crafts.com. The kit is $20, includes your wooden heart, three acrylic paints of your choice, a foam brush, it includes the stain, and one piece of sandpaper. So thank you, Center for the Arts, for having us do this, and enjoy your kids' crafts. Bye.